but we knew that it was the right thing A to stinging do, so admission from the Senate's top anyway. Republican after two more members of his caucus abandoned the health care bill. I regret that the effort to repeal and immediately replace the failures of Obamacare will not be successful. I'm certainly disappointed for seven years I've been hearing repeal and replace from Congress, and I've been hearing it loud and strong, and then when we finally get a chance to repeal and replace, they don't take advantage of it. I think train wreck is a fair way to characterize it. Republican leaders floated a new idea, scrapping Obamacare with no replacement plan at all. Several Republican senators quickly rejected the idea, as did a unified Democratic caucus. I don't believe that a majority of senators are willing to support a reckless leap in the dark. Republicans had crafted the bill on their own, behind closed doors. That must end, according to Democrats, who urge cooperation to address Obamacare's shortcomings. The door to bipartisanship is open right now. Republican leadership only needs to walk through it. Trump has promised Republican wins on other priorities like tax reform. Such accomplishments will get harder, analysts say, with Republicans bruised and the president's clout in question after the health care defeat. It's also shown us some of the limits of uh, legislating with an inexperienced president in the White House um, and an unpopular president in the White House. If Republicans couldn't pass a bill that they've been promising to pass for uh, seven years and they couldn't do it when they only needed 51 votes in the Senate, uh, that will raise some questions about whether they'll be able to follow through on other legislative priorities. Democrats have divisions of their own on health care between those who want to strengthen the private insurance market Obamacare fosters well, um, and those demanding universal coverage in which the government pays all costs. Michael Bowman, VOA News, the Capitol.